Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about Kafka back pressure. We will discuss what it is and how we can handle it in Spring Boot. So let's get started. So Kafka back pressure basically happens when data flow faster than our system can handle that data. Okay, so in simple word, I can say is when producer is sending the messages in a very fast pace, the pace with which consumer cannot handle it. Let's imagine the producer is sending the messages like 1000 messages in 10 milliseconds but our consumer can only process 200 messages in those 10 milliseconds so there is a delay right like 800 messages are still waiting so that problem is basically called the kafka back pressure so here you can see i have used the arrow in this direction because kafka works on the pull by approach okay so this kafka back pressure can happen in three ways First is when producers send messages too quickly. Second is when brokers can't keep up. Third is when consumer process data too slowly. Okay. So when the first way is when back pressure is on the producer side. If your producer is sending messages to Kafka too fast, your producer buffer can fill up. Kafka starts retrying or throttling sends. You might see high latency or even errors like timeout exception. So quick fixes for this is tune linger.ms, linger.ms 10. So what exactly this linger.ms means is, like suppose if I've set the linger.ms as 10 milliseconds, it's ms here is basically means the milliseconds and it is 10. So what exactly it means is, so producers, the, so the producer has sent a message, a batch of messages, okay. Then after sending it, the next batch, will go after 10 milliseconds so that is what we can define with this being linger.ms and then is the batch dot size to optimize the batching so batch dot size basically means is like here we can define like something like this here it means is 16 kb so batch size basically means is like suppose as i told you the producer will send the messages in a batch so a batch should be of the 16 KB. Once the batch size reaches a 16 KB, then the producer will send the message. We will have to tune this and this. And now the thing, the question can arise is, what will be given more precedence over this? Okay, so the precedence will be like whatever reaches first, like if the 10 millisecond reaches first and batch dot size is still, the batch of the messages is still 8 KB then the message then the producer will send the messages the batch if batch dot size reaches the size of 16 kb in 5 milliseconds then also it will send it so basically what it means is whatever of these two will reach first will be given the precedence and the producer will send the messages okay the th the second way is set limit with the buffer dot memory okay third way is monitor broker acknowledgement with acks setting so what exactly this ACKS means is acknowledgement. Like whenever we, whenever the producer will send a message to the Kafka broker, then the producer should wait for the acknowledgement like that message has sent already or not. Okay. So we have to monitor it and we have to add the retry logic or delay logic. Like suppose we have sent the delay logic here, linger.ms, right? So like suppose I have sent a batch of 10 KB. And then I should delay or I should wait for the next batch to be sent. Okay. And whenever it fails or something, so we should have a retry logic also. The second way is broker level back pressure. So brokers have to write messages to the disk. Like suppose a uh, producer is sending messages to the broker, right? Then broker, what it does is it writes the messages to the disk and replicates them. Like as we know, the broker have each topic has a partitions, right? and they have the replication factor and all those things so they have to replicate it if disk input is slow or if you have too many partitions the broker becomes a bottleneck okay spring boot apps may see timeouts or increased latencies so quick fixes for this is you can't fix this in code directly but you can monitor and respond we have to use some observability tools like jmx micrometer grafana or prometheus and we have to reduce the partition count or add more brokers okay with this we can solve the back pressure which is occurring because of the broker level third is the consumer back pressure 
if consumers are too slow maybe they are saving to a slow database or doing some heavy computation they can't keep up with the kafka like uh, suppose the consumer is reading message from the broker and it is doing some manipulation or transformation on that message and then writing it to the database so in that case like heavy computation or transformation is happening in the logic okay before writing it to the database and even writing to the database the database is too slow then also this kind of a problem can occur so the quick fixes for this is pause the consumer when processing is slow use back pressure aware processing example reactive streams we should use the reactive streams okay and we should tune the concurrency use manual acknowledgement so acknowledgement is also of multiple types okay and we should use it here manual not the so these were the three ways with which the back pressure problem can occur and now in a nutshell if we talk about so kafka back pressure is problem which occurs when consumer can't keep up with the producer the producer is sending message in a very fast pace but consumer can't keep up you can handle it we can handle it by limiting the poll size okay increasing the concurrency committing manually and monitoring the lag the key is to balance your system produce only what you can consume the producer and consumer should be in same pace it shouldn't be like the producer is producing so many messages but consumer is lagging behind so in this video this much only if you like the video please do subscribe to our channel thank you